everyone now session is started for hands on session so i invite uh, narendra kumar sir and professor mohan lal verma sir for hands on session sir uh, your speaker is uh, off like you are not audible hello karo ha narendra yes sir so i think uh, give uh, just uh, an overview whatever we have performed yesterday first first 10 minutes and okay. then uh, today what we have to do we have to optimize the system Okay. Yes, then we will. Das, Das, and Dan. Can we? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So, <clears throat> so welcome back, back all the participants. Yes, yes, sir. At uh, for some more time, or it's okay. We should start. narendra kumar sir yes, uh, just give me one minute i'm i'm trying to connect from my uh, computer ma'am can you allow me to share my screen yes your host you can share Ma'am, can you make uh, my uh, lab computer? The name is Narendra Kumar. The second one. Make it as a host. Sir, both is uh, in co-host. Okay. Yeah. Now I can. Kumar, Narendra, and Narendra Kumar both. Is. Yes. so uh, i welcome all the participants in day 2 hands on session yesterday we did some basic csd calculation uh, we also generated the fda file using gdis so today we will do the full optimization or uh, relaxation then uh, uh, we will uh, plot band density of state and projected density of state i already shared the day two tutorial with you kindly download it take 2 to 3 minute and download it and let me know when you download the day two tutorial
साजल विश्वास सर गेट ओके narendra wait for just a few minute uh, here the, in the lab uh, student are uh, just lagging behind okay sir no problem okay I share the link for three minutes uh, yeah they have shared and uh, uh, they are not ready okay just two minutes okay sir kindly let me know when to start So yesterday uh, we did uh, basic size calculation with single zeta, double zeta, single zeta polarization, then double zeta. How many of you did uh, that calculation at your home? If you have anyone have any question, you can ask. Hello, sir. Am I audible, sir? Uh, yes, but your voice is too low. Now, sir. Hello, sir. It is okay, sir. Yes, yes, please. Sir, I have uh, calculated uh, using uh, many options. In some yes. cases, uh, the lattice constant values are uh, showing uh, same result. Okay, sir. Yes, I think in that case, uh, you didn't copy uh, that relaxed file I said you uh, in the morning. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just copy the relaxed file that we did yesterday in T1 folder. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And try with that one. Okay, sir. Okay.
Yes, Naren, proceed. Is there an issue? No, no, I'm waiting for you. Okay, okay. So, okay, so yesterday we did uh, that basis as calculation. Then we created the FDF file using GDIS. Today we will do the band and DOS calculation. So I shared the, that uh, data folder. I hope everyone get it. So if you open this folder and go to this T2 directory, you can see here. Yesterday we did the example of silicon bulk system. Today we will do the graphene system that is 2D sheet. If you click right click, then open terminal here. ls so we have a fdf file here that is c.fdf file let's visualize it using gdis software so what we will do we will do gdis then our input file name that is carbon.fdf and enter <clears throat> You can see this is just two atom FDF file. If I go to this image here uh, in, in the left corner, click here, then go to image and repeat it along X and Y. and make supercell. Now you can see this is your G, uh, this is your graphene nano sheet. And if you repeat in G direction or Z direction, you can see there is a vacuum, the space between this layer, the first layer and the second layer. That means our system is periodic only in two direction, X and Y. This is graphene sheet. But when we do the optimization, we usually deal with a unit cell, or we can say the small number of atoms we usually do when we do the optimization because this is just a periodic image of the, uh, that two atom. This big sheet here in this side is just a periodic image of this one. So if we optimize or relax these two atoms, we can get a relaxed structure of graphene sheet. And then you can enlarge it. And if you want to do some doping, you can see So, okay, just cross it now. Now, to optimize uh, any system, we have to follow four main step in siesta number one is cut off that is mass cut off optimization then the k point optimization and lattice optimization and uh, by taking the optimized value of these one two three step we will do the final optimization so here what we will be do today First, we will optimize this mass cut of energy. Then we will optimize this K points. Then third step, I said here, this lattice constant, this one. Then by taking all these uh, optimized value, we will do the final optimization. Okay, so now how you can optimize your 
mass cut off energy suppose So how we will optimize this mass cut of energy? You have to do, you have to change this value and check the so what you have to do you have to change this value and calculate the energy according to that value suppose how i can do let's change it to first 50 and then run the siesta then i will uh, change it to 100 then run the siesta then 150 and so on one option is you can do it manually the another option you can write a script that can automatically change your value here and calculate a uh, total energy so for that Verma sir already uh, created a script named energy cutoff. If you go to this folder cutoff, here you can see you have script cutoff.sh. Just double click it and open it. The first thing you have to do, you have to copy your FDF file. The complete FDF file that is carbon.fdf. Just copy all the parameter, copy it, and paste it inside that script. Here you can see cat c.fdf, then eof just below that, and above that cof space and paste your FDF file. How many of you did this step? So, okay. So what this script will do for you, it is changing your 
cut off from 50 to 500 and then calculate a siesta and cal uh, calculate a, a total energy so what this script will we do for you let me show you here this script here you um, mass cut off this script will change your mass cut off value first 50 read work and then run the siesta and calculate energy the next step it will uh, it will change your read work with step 50 that means your next mass cut off would be uh, 100 read work then run the siesta and calculate the energy according, uh, according to this uh, 100 read work and so on up to 500 read work run the siesta and calculate energy for you. So just set this parameter 50 in the step of 50 up to 500. You can increase it to 600 or 400, whatever you want. Then make sure here your mass cut of it was 350 the initial. Now I am changing this parameter with dollar i. So it is just a variable. This script will read this dollar i and change it with a 50 and run the siesta. In the next step, this script will change this dollar i with 100 and so on. Just save it. Make sure your mass cutoff is dollar i read work. Dollar i means I set the variable, and this variable is varying from 50 to 500. And save it. Now open a terminal, right click, and open a terminal. So you have to do ls first. Now you have uh, hidden files is showing here. Let me remove it. Or just you can see you have this script script cutoff.sh. So first thing you have to press chmod. This is change mode plus x and script cutoff.sh. If you hit again ls, you can see your, the mode of your script is changed now. You can see it in a green color. Uh, before running this script, make sure in the end of uh, this uh, script, here if you install siesta, uh, binary as a siesta, then you have to write siesta. If your siesta binary is siesta.exe, then it should be siesta.exe. But here in our case, we have only siesta. The siesta binary file is siesta. Okay. Let me save it. Just close. How you will we run this script? You have to press dot slash and script cut off dot sh. What I did dot slash, then I write s and press tab two time and then hit enter. It will start 
running a siesta calculation if you see in the background you can see a folder with 50 is created here and it is running Uh, one thing to make sure here, I'm just stopping this calculation. I did one mistake here. When you have to do this calculation, uh, this uh, optimization of your cutoff and uh, uh, K points and lattice as well, you have to keep your CG step zero. See, just uh, three line, uh, two line. Uh, uh, Behind this uh, mesh cutoff, you can see the CG steps are 1000. So what I said, I need zero CG step here. Everyone, please make sure your CG step should be zero to run this script. Let me save it and cross it. I'm restarting the calculation. It is running. C fifty, one hundred, one fifty, two hundred, two fifty. What? This script is doing creating a folder name 50 with this type of 50 and so on up to 500. Then in each folder, it is replacing so replacing our mass cutoff, mass cutoff value with same parameter like 50 read work here and calculate the energy total energy of system similarly for 100 our mass cut off is 100 and running the siesta and calculate the energy and so on up to 500 The calculation is finished. So now we have a 50 to 500 mesh cutoff and each mesh cutoff correspond to a particular energy. So we need to check that energy and we will check uh, how the energy is changing with different mesh cutoff. So this mesh cutoff is uh, very important uh, in the term of uh, accuracy and computational cost. So now now 
what we what will we do we will grab that, that energy using the grab command that we learned yesterday the command was grab space semicolons the energy okay if you open any directory you can see each directory has one out file here carbon dot out if you open it this file press control f and search for total total means total energy you can get here is our total energy so we will use this keyword in grep command to copy uh, energy from each folder what will be do grep colon and e o t a l e capital and o t a l small space equal to r slash r dot out and save this energy in let's say energy energy dot dat it enter you can see here a file energy dot dat is created if you open this file you can see it is saying 50 slash c dot out colon siesta total and the energy is this okay so what you have to do next command is g edit energy dot dat and hit enter now we don't want these lines we just want the data in the term of x and y column like the uh, the lattice uh, not that is the mesh cut off and the corresponding energy we don't want these extra uh, text is here so to remove this just press control h copy this text from here and paste here and replace it with nothing and replace all close now the first line is our mesh cut off mesh cut off and the second is energy and save it close it so plot this energy we have to use xm grace so how we will do xm grace space energy dot dat a kind of box is uh, appear in front of you so now just double click on this line and here you can see the symbol properties and type of symbol is none you can choose its circle and then go to the symbols then the symbol fill with color this uh, you can change the color as well if you want red or magenta or uh, blue and then the pattern is this one and press accept so here this is the trend of the energy that is changing with mesh cut off when the mesh cut off in this line in this side this one is 
मैश कट ऑफ इन रिडवर्क and along y side it is energy in electron volt so when the uh, mass cut of 50 the energy is very high then when the mass cut of 100 it you can see the sudden change in the energy and as you increase the mass cut off the energy is converging or you can say going toward the minima so here you can see around 350 after this 350 rate work the energy is almost stable or you can you can go up to 700 to check it but for now we can say after 300 350 or 400 or energy is just stable so that from here we can say our mass cut of energy is 350 redwork so save it how you will we save this file go to file Press save as, and then give the name. Let's say this is energy versus mesh cutoff of dot agr. This is XM Grace, and the extension of this file is agr. Like in in the text file. the extension of the file is txt in the pdf file the extension is pdf in xm grace the extension is dot agr press okay if you want to print it you can go to print setup and you can choose it as a eps jpg png format i'm going with jpg press okay apply then again before that i i was here in the print setup now print and cross it now you can see your energy cut off dot jpg file is here how many of you did this step up to now anyone has any someone is asking to repeat the process okay i am repeating let me delete it so what i did this one is our input file that is for graphing and here to optimize the structure we have four main step first one is the mesh cut off energy optimization the second one is the k point optimization third one is lattice optimization and then the optim uh, final optimization so first one is the mesh cut off i open this file here i have script dot sh just open it double click it here this is the script written by dr mohan, uh, mohan l verma sir so this script in this script you have to 
copy your FDA file first. Just all the parameter in your FDA file. Just copy and inside your script, just paste it below this EOF and above this EOF, the last EOF. I'm deleting everything between these and paste my FD file. <clears throat> now, I said the first step, step is mesh cutoff optimization. Here is our mesh cutoff parameter. So we need to vary it to check the total energy corresponding to different mesh cutoff. So how will we will be do this? We will vary this parameter. Either you, you can do it manually or you can do it using a script. So I'm using here with script to make my life easy. So what I will be do, I will make this script is uh, uh, created by Verma sir. So what he did, he created a, a parameter dollar i to vary this value according to the sequence he gave here. So what this script will be do for you, <laughs> this script here, you have to define the sequence. Here you define sequence, let's say 50, 50, 500. What does it mean? It means it will change the value of match cutoff with starting from 50 with this step of 50 up to 500. Or you can you can do one thing, you can start it from 100 within the step of 20, let's say, up to 500, or within this uh, step of 50 up to 700. So now I define the sequence here. Let's say 100 within the step of 50 to 700. And I will, this script will calculate uh, energy corresponding to each mesh cutoff. What we are trying to do here, changing the mesh cutoff and calculate the value, energy value corresponding to that mesh cutoff changing the mass cutoff and calculate the energy corresponding to that mass cutoff. Like the, uh, in 50 read work, what will be the energy? In 100 read work, what will be the energy? 150 read work, what will be the energy? And so on up to 500. So now, when you define the sequence, your next step is to make sure your CG step is zero and make this value as a variable parameter dollar i. Dollar i means when this script will be run, it will check where is the dollar i 
and this script will replace the scroller i with 100 and run the siesta for you then it will go for next step it is kind of do loop it will go for next value that is one 100 you did 100 first step you did 100 then it will add plus your next value is 150 then uh, it will run the siesta and add the 50 in this then your next mesh cutter value is 200 and so on so let me run it i just save it pause was here open terminal here first command i gave chmod plus x and then script name that is script cutoff dot sh and hit enter press ls you can see the mode is changed then you have to press dot slash and script dot s uh, script underscore cutoff dot sh enter it will start running from 100 now then 150 if you open this 100 folder here you can see your fdf file where it is fdf file check the mass cutoff the mass cutoff is 100 here and it it runs the siesta and in your output file it will give you a energy corresponding to 100 read work mesh cutoff in 150 if you open your fdf file you can see your mesh cutoff is 150 and it is running siesta then your 200 check your fdf file your mass cutoff energy is 200 read work and so on It is running. Okay, I'm crossing it now. Okay, so this script is uh, e each folder uh, has uh, out to file. Like yesterday, we did a siesta calculation, then we have one out file, and that out file has a less coordinate. In that case, in in this case we have a out file in that file in that file we have total energy if we open this out file and search for total 
is equal to total you can get a total energy is minus 323.404872 electron volt now you have to grab this all energy and check the energy versus read work graph mesh cut off you can say we will do we want to plot energy versus read work to check the behavior of how energy is changing as we increase the read mesh cut off so for that first let's copy all the uh, energies inside all these folder so for that how we will copy this energy we will do grep command grep space is colon and press total spa space equal to and star slash star dot out and save this file using uh, this uh, or you can do like this less than column and energy dot that enter if you hit ls now you can see uh, energy dot that file is created here inside this energy dot that file all the energies inside these uh, directories you have in this data file here so uh, you can open this file using g edit energy dot that here you can see you have uh, all the energy correspond to 100 150 200 250 and so on so what i want now i want plot this value this read work here i said read work it should be like in uh, 100 150 to uh, 200 and 250 and so on so here first i need to remove this unwanted text what i will be doing i press control h to find and replace control and h and copy this text from here to here copy and paste it here and replace it with nothing and replace all now you can see your data in x and y format just save it cross it and plot it in xm grays xm grays then your file name that is the energy dot bat and hit enter see your energy is how your energy is changing because i cross this uh, calculation then there is there might be any uh, issue but you can see here uh, yeah this one i crossed the last one it is up to 550 see the energy is changing it is uh, minimize it is going to down as uh, we increase our let me open that the old one xm grace start dot agr so here you can see the energy is changing as we increase the mesh cut of energy 
here the energy is stable you can say stable either it might be go down as you uh, you will go to higher value but you can see after 450 uh, 350 or 400 it is almost stable so our mass cut off you can say is 350 read work so in further calculation we will use our mass cut off as 350 our mass cut off is mass cut off is 350 read work we will use this value now because we plot uh, energy versus cutoff graph and you can see after a particular uh, value that is 350 the energy is almost stable so now go to k point open this script the k point script and same copy this your uh, fdf file copy it and paste it here just below that eof and above this eof paste it here now we did the mesh cutoff optimization and we found our mass cutoff is 350 or you can say the 400. <laughs> higher the mass cutoff, higher the accuracy. Three, around between three, uh, three, uh, 350 and 400, it is stable. So the next step is K point optimization. We optimize mass cutoff. Now we will move to K point. Now here, because this is our 2D system, so we will vary the parameter only X and Y because our graphing sheet is only periodic in X and Y direction, not in Z, Z direction. So in this K grid, uh, in this K grid block, you can see it was 12, 12, 1. We will vary and check the energy. How we will vary? We have to put dollar i icon here. Similarly, in y direction and g direction, we will keep it one because it is not periodic in D direction or Z direction. Again, make sure your CG steps, MD numerical, NUM CG steps are zero. And your you have to put the relaxed mass cutoff that you optimize just in step number one here. Save it and cross it cross it cross everything let me recheck it again we put the mass cut of energy that we optimize in step number one then we put the dollar icon in the k point block x and y direction and our cg steps are zero here you have to give the value, uh, your uh, K point value. You can increase it like three within this step of two to let's say 25. Save it, cross it, open a terminal. Again, you have to give the same command that is chmod space plus x and your file name is that is script 
dot script underscore k point dot sh i just write s and press tab it will appear and hit enter now you can type ls you can see your script is in green color now that means in the binary form you can run it using dot slash script dot sh This script will do the same thing for us. We have K points. We will vary our K point two cross two cross one. Then in this step of two, then next one is five cross five cross one. Then uh, seven cross seven cross one nine cross nine cross one and so on up to 25 cross 25 cross one so here you can see i'm using two cross two cross one why because of that graphing sheet is periodic only in x and y direction suppose you have 3D direction like silicon that we did yesterday, that is a bulk system. So that one is bulk means periodic in X, Y, and G in the case of silicon. For, in that case, we have to vary this parameter as well. If we have silicon, or we can not silicon, but we can say the bulk system. If we have uh, 1D system, then 1D means like carbon nanotube. So what we will be do then in that case, our K point might be in like two cross one cross one, then three cross one cross one and so on up to whatever you want. Let's say 25 cross one cross one. Here you can see as the periodicity is uh, here periodicity is 2d that's why 7 7 cross 1 9 9 1 20, uh, 5 across 5 cross 1 if the periodicity is only in one direction in that case we have two cross one means periodicity of our uh, structure is only in one direction, only in X direction, X, Y, and G. If we have 3D system for 3D, for 3D, that is like two cross two cross two, three cross three cross three. We are varying X, Y, and G, all the parameters. Okay, done. Our, our calculation is finished. So what we will do here, we are changing our parameter from three to 25. That means we are changing our K point K point from 3 to 25 and calculate the total energy correspond to each K points. Like in what, uh, what will be the energy in the case of 2, 2, 1? What will be the energy in the case of 3, 3, 1? And what will be the energy in 4, 4, 5, 5, and so on? Now, again, now again the same step. 
will follow. We, we are going to grab the, that energy, grab space, uh, columns, semicolons, and total space equal to star, star dot, dot out and save this file as a energy dot that and hit enter and is e and e energy dot that now open this file just to check it what is inside this the edit energy dot that here the same you can see uh, in in the case of three, five, seven, we have uh, energy something. In, in in the case of three, three, one, we have energy minus three, two, two point eight six something. And for five, seven, it is the energy is changing. So let's remove this these unwanted lines, unwanted text. Just select these. Sir, कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा है। Sorry। ये दुष दुष्यंत। जी सर। Did you get that folder, the T two folder? Yes sir. In that folder, you have these uh, these four uh, four, uh, four four more folder cut off K point lattice optimization and uh, final optimization optim right yes sir in each folder you have a, a script name energy cut off script something script cut off dot sh right दुष्यंत दुष्यंत अरविंदर दुष्यंत आर यू देयर अभी उठा सो लिया दो घंटे वट यू हैव टू डू आई एम रिपीटिंग इट अगेन यू हैव टू ऑप्टिमाइज द के पॉइंट कट ऑफ एनर्जी फर्स्ट थिंग इज कट ऑफ एनर्जी ऑप्टिमाइज द कट of energy and take that value then go to the k points optimize the that k points using the script so when you run this script you have a uh, multiple files multiple folder you have you have to grab the total energy from each folder so how you will be grab using this command grab total equal to star slash star dot out and save this uh, total energy in energy dot that file and your next step is to open that file g edit energy dot that let me open it again your file is something like this then you have to remove these unwanted text because we want to plot in uh, it in x and y column so we will press control h and replace it with nothing and save it then cross it now plot it in x m grays energy dot that
energy.dat and you can see here as you increase your k points your energy is going toward optimum optimum condition so here you can see your the optimize or the minimum energy is here i think it is uh, 7 around 771 so our k point will be 771 Narendra, there was another script in this folder, no? Gate script, along with that. Uh, uh, yes, that sir. I moved it to uh, so to show uh, how we can grab the energy. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because uh, it's easy, and uh, this uh, this may uh, save some time. Yes. And just to give the I output file name and uh, run that second script, then it will uh, create that. Um, uh, Okay, this is a good exercise, but also now yes. you can provide just just to, <coughs> just to demonstrate how uh, yeah how how that copy. is how it is working. Okay, good one. No, yes, no yes. Sir. So after this, uh, this is just uh, for the optimization. Uh, yesterday we have optimized that uh, exchange correlation function and uh, uh, one basis sets, and today. We have to optimize the structure. So, for to optimize the structure, uh, we have four steps. And in uh, literature, also in the paper, we write uh, these steps. Uh, so, for optimization, we first optimize base cutoff, then k point, and then latest constant, and the final optimization. So, each and every steps are important, and uh, you have to follow this. <coughs> After uh, uh, going to this tutorial, uh, your assignment is you have uh, to uh, watch uh, lecture number seven in my channel. So that detail is also there and uh, you can uh, uh, revise this uh, this uh, particular exercise. Okay, proceed, proceed. Okay. So uh, you can see here your uh, uh, the minimum energy is around seven, uh, seven, seven, one. So our K point in this script is now 771 because we get the minimum energy around 771. Just save it, cross it. Let me go to the next folder or you can just copy this file, this script, but I pasted uh, uh, it uh, into each folder. So let me or you can you have already here so i'm not going to paste it again so you have this folder now my mesh cutoff the optimized mesh cutoff that i optimized in step number one is 400 interval and my k point is seven 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 one the next step is to optimize this lattice constant it was one 1.0. Now I want to change this lattice constant. Uh, lattice constant is uh, related to your uh, vector, cell vector. Suppose this is your vector, cell vector, and you have two atom here, carbon and carbon. So uh, we 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 want to move this lattice lattice uh, constant. Like it, it is uh, uh, one angstrom, one point zero angstrom. It is a one angstrom. So what I want to do, I want change this value around this lattice constant to get the minimum energy around it. So what I will be do, I will change this lattice constant from zero point nine five and calculate the energy correspond to it then move it to 0 0.96 and calculate the energy the same like we did and one point up to 1.5 and calculate the energy then i will plot energy versus energy versus lattice constant and it will give me another minimum energy
so for that i need to define my starting point of the lattice constant that is 0.95 or you can go with the 0.93 in this step of 0.01 up to let's say 1.1.15 save it and make sure put dollar icon here dollar dollar sign means the variable of this script so this script will uh, change the lattice constant first 0.93 then run the csr then 0.94 95 96 and so on up to 1.15 just save it process it the same step to run this calculation first one is chmod plus x and script underscore op dot sh hit enter if it ls you can see your script is in the green color now now you have to hit dot slash and script dot opt dot sh hit enter it start running take around 5 minute so let me revise again what what we are trying to do to optimize to relax any system we have to follow three step first one is the optimization of mass cutoff first one is the optimization of mass cutoff energy we will run we will do it with script and you have mass cut off versus energy plot is something like this it will give you the optimized or uh, the mass cut off that you need in our case we found it is around 400 redwer then the next step is the optimization of k points in that case the same same we we have graph k point versus energy it will give you the minimum uh, energy correspond to k points different k points like 1 2 3 4 in our case we found the minimum energy uh, correspond which correspond to 7 7 i think 7 yes 7 here is 7 so we 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 have two optimized value now for mass cut off it is 400 it work and for k point it is 7 cross 7 cross 1 now we are in the third step that is the lattice constant that is constant here we will get the same graph like energy versus lattice 
constant and we will have a minimum energy maybe somewhere here we will get this energy then we will move to the final optimization Okay, calculation is finished. Now we will grab the energy similar like before using the grab command, grab space total equal to star slash star dot out. That is star slash star dot out and save it as a energy dot dat. Less. Now you can see we have energy dot that file. Let's open it with G edit. The same step we did in step number one and two. G edit energy dot that. Hit enter. Now again we want to remove these lines. Just select it and press Control H and replace it with nothing and save it pause it now we want to see the trend of our energy how it is varying with the lattice constant with varying the lattice constant so x and grace energy dot that hit enter you have a graph something like that something parabolic that means let me first double click it on it on the on this line select a symbol circle and press ok apply if you want to zoom it let me zoom it from this region or let me explain it first so what happened when the lattice constant 0 0.94 the energy is here as the lattice constant is moving the energy is also going toward minima and at a particular value particular lattice constant we have a minimum energy and after that if you increase the lattice constant the energy is going increasing again so because we need to optimize to relax the system, that means the minimum energy where it, it, it has a minimum energy, we have to find that one. So in that case, in, in our case, we have the minimum energy is around is 1 or 1.1. Let me zoom in this area. Again, let me zoom it. 1 or 1.1, both are the same. So I can take my lattice constant either 1 or 1.01. .01. So here I'm, I'm going to take it 1. Cross, cross it. We did three step. Mass cut off. We found 400 read work. The minimum energy around uh, 400 it work then the k, k point 7 cross 7 cross 1 and the lattice constant is 1.0 angstrom hello so no, no, sir yes 
Sir, I have a query here. Like you said, lattice constant 1.00. No, I think to get the lattice constant, we have to multiply this number with the lattice vector. No. Uh, sorry, sorry. To obtain the lattice constant, no, I think we have to multiply this number with the lattice vector. No, A and B. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Before, yeah. I think that should be the case. Yes, uh, but uh, just to demonstrate, I increase yeah, yeah, yeah. the I I vary the lattice constant only. The lattice yes, constant sir. and lattice vector are just a multiple of each other. Yes, yes, yes. The, that lattice constant, uh, lattice uh, constant exercise we did it uh, in yesterday's hands-on session. Yeah. Oh, okay, sir. I missed that yes. one. I think. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay. So now go to the fourth folder, the optimum one. Here our FDA file. Now here we have to put our lattice constant, the optimized the lattice constant value that we get. That is one angstrom. Okay. Then the mass cut off, the optimized mass cut off. We have four hundred interval. Just four hundred interval. And the K point, it is uh, seven, 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 one, and save it. Now we did these calculation. Step one, two, three. In the CG step, zero, zero, zero. CG step was zero. But now we are doing the final optimization. We have to put our CG step 1000, the maximum CG step. So in the fourth step, we will put our CG step 1000, the maximum you can save it. I, I, I already uh, put 1000 here, save it cross it, open a terminal, and now run the siesta using siesta command, siesta less than carbon.fdf file, then this symbol and t, t -E, e and log dot out. It will take a few minutes so up to now anyone have any question you can ask we can discuss Sadil sir, you are doing good. So, uh, anyone have any question or should I move forward? Hello, sir. I have one yes. question, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, in the lattice parameter optimization script, we have uh, written uh, the lattice parameter uh, very uh, uh, using dollar sign but in the other yes. cases uh, in the fdf file there is no uh, option for that no no we we put the dollar sign here uh, you are asking this uh, the first one let's say the cut cut off energy uh, if you see here we put this dollar sign you're talking about this or no, no sir no sir there is no lattice parameter sir in this case 
No, we have we uh, the initial one. It was uh, one. Just one. Okay, the, okay, you, okay. You know, default. Thank value. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yes. I think uh, you are talking about that lattice vectors are there in place of lattice, lattice parameter. So that uh, the size of this simulation box, it is uh, defined in two terms. Either it's given in terms of lattice parameter where alpha, beta, gamma and A, B, C, that, that uh, these are given uh, as far that crystallographic uh, terms are there. So in solid state physics, uh, when we define that uh, box, means uh, inside that the atoms are there. Uh, so that is in terms of A, B, C the size along x axis y axis and z axis and the angles between two axis that is alpha beta gamma so this latest parameters are those parameters and second in some fdf file in test files are there uh, in place of this latest parameters latest vectors are there in even in that output file that mentioned uh, by narendra that in output file also in term, in place of this latest parameter you will have latest vectors so don't confuse with both are same uh, but but, uh, but the way of writing is different. So in uh, this uh, lattice uh, constant uh, variation, you can use this or also that uh, a lattice vector term also. Thank you, sir. Tweta is asking, uh, what should I do when showing error that atom are too close in the script file? In that case, you need to check uh, the coordinates of your uh, FDF file and the lattice parameter as well. Sometimes there is overlapping of uh, uh, your coordinates. So you need to uh, cross check it. Sir, uh, kindly explain the energy cutoff uh, convergence uh, point again, sir. Energy cutoff with lattice constant? No, sir. Uh, mesh cut off, mesh cut off energy. Uh, mesh cut off energy. You know, in in uh, in uh, morning set, uh, uh, not today, but yesterday's uh, Professor Rodrigo explained the one algorithm how uh, DFT will work. He he showed uh, uh, one algorithm uh, uh, that is something solving the cohen sham equation. Then we are uh, we are calculating the. Uh, uh, density of the system and something like that, if you remember. No, sir. Actually, I am not uh, talking about that. Uh, that uh, the uh, energy value we should uh, choose for the uh, optimization. Yes. Okay, sir. From the graph, yes. we have found out yes. which value we should take from the graph. So just started uh, the minimum from the starting point or the uh, from the end point, sir. So no, uh, after a particular point, it is becoming a stable. I mean, there is just minor change in the term of it. Maybe in uh, change is uh, just 0 0.00023. So if you check the energy, you can okay. see here. Uh, if you if you see this energy dot at file, you can see your energy is changing changing, changing, changing. But after uh, you can see 350, it is not changing as much. Here you can see 625, uh, five last three digit, uh, 561, uh, 471. But after uh, 350, it is 937, 926, 945, now the energy is changing only in in these two places, so you can you can take this value your uh, mass cutoff because okay, energy. Thank you very much. Yes, energy is just less changing after a three hundred and fifty rate world. Okay, now the calculation is finished. Again, we have to do the same step that we did day one hands-on session. Just open your ad, uh, out file, gedit.log.out, and search for relaxed atomic coordinate, control F, and search for relaxed, R E L A X, relaxed. You can see you have relaxed atomic coordinate here. Just copy this coordinate and paste it in your FDF file. 
and save it. Now your system is fully relaxed. So, sir, how much time I have? <clears throat> we have 12 more minutes only. <laughs> 12 minutes. Yeah. Uh, should I uh, can move for band DOS? DOS, we can, we can, we can. So tomorrow no. we have to uh, perform that uh, uh, band uh, plot and feed us. Okay. Just Actually, that uh, optimization process it uh, takes uh, time to understand as well as uh, perform. Uh, if uh, that system is properly optimized, then that uh, analysis of properties or other plotting uh, use of other plotting tools are easy. So uh, you have to make do some practice. And for different materials, and uh, uh, then uh, you can learn this. Actually, uh, Pandey sir um, uh, gave uh, such a statement that you have to fill the materials. Means whatever uh, you are trying to do with your computer, with your uh, and your material, uh, you have to fill that material. What is happening there when you are running that program? So in that maze cutoff, what is that? Uh, that K point, what is that? You have to, to Google it. Yes, uh, yesterday I told that. Uh, you have to make that Google is a good friend. So, क्या होता है ये सारी चीजें ये आपको डिटेल्स देखना चाहिए और ये ऑप्टिमाइजेशन का प्रोसेस है। Because we have to balance two things: one accuracy as well as computational time. Sometimes that maze cutoff is too high. So, if that maze cutoff is too high, obviously that that will consume more computational time. As well, also the same thing is for K points. If K point is much more, then obviously uh, that uh, computational time will be high. So many people uh, just use uh, one some uh, default K points and maze cutoffs and uh, uh, give the result, and that is not good. We uh, generally follow that accuracy. That's why uh, we optimize the system using this. Otherwise, uh, many papers you can get that maze cutoff is about 200 to 12 to 250 K points. That is about five to seven. And uh, latest variation, I think they have performed and uh, uh, that latest variation and uh, that final optimization with some CG points uh, they can do. So, but uh, we have to optimize the system by using this uh, optimization process of these parameters. Okay, proceed Naren. Yes. Now uh, we will plot the density of states for that we need a utility called eig to dos when you run this final calculation inside this optim folder you have this eig file now we need a utility if you open this file you can see the format is something like this now we need a utility that can change the format in x and y for this utility eig to dos you have to go inside your siesta directory that you installed or siesta folder that you installed we installed the five uh, 4.15 version so i'm going to here then you have to go util, util. Then you have to find EIG to DOS here. You can see EIG to DOS. Everyone get this folder EI to DOS. Just open it. In your case, you have to open the terminal here. You have to open the terminal here and type make M A K E make. Then press ls. Now you can see you have one binary file in green color. Type make. Go to your siesta util. Then EAG to DOS, open terminal here, and type make. It will create a EAG to DOS file for you. 
Now copy this file to user local bin. Therefore, you can access it easily. How you will be copy sudo cp then file name eig 2 dos is slash user usr slash local slash bin. I'm writing in this command in chat box sudo cp e i g e i g to dos space usr is local space bin and press enter it asks for password enter your password Then now cross it, go to your folder, back to that folder, day two, and this uh, optimum optim folder. Now open a terminal here. Jitendra, it is uh, not Jitendra with this. Jarneshwar. It is problem with your virtual box. You have to uh, uh, reinstall it or uh, make sure the virtualization is on in, uh, in your uh, bio system in your laptop. So uh, now we copied that eig2 file in our bin now we will use this eig file eig2 dos space minus s minus s means uh, the sharpness of the peak 0. Point, i'm using 0. 0.02 space minus f Minus F means shift the Fermi energy. Then minus N number of points between your uh, uh, values that we are going to give. Let's say 1000. Minus capital N. Let's say from minus 5. Uh, let me uh, refresh my memory. It is uh, capital N or M. It is, I think, M, N. Let me refresh my memory, then I will explain. Minus N, capital M, 5, star dot. Yes. So the command is eig to dos, the utility we copied, then minus f, s is the sharpness of the peak, I'm using 0 0.02, minus f to shift the Fermi energy, minus n is 1000, that is the point between my minima and maxima. My minima is minus five and maxima is five. In between these points, I am going to take 1000 number of point. Minus M is for minima. I'm starting with uh, from minus five. 
and capital M is for maxima up to five. Then your file name I'm using here star dot eig and greater than dos dot at hit enter and type ls now you can see a dos dot that file is here now plot it using x and grace x and grace os dot that this is my dos but the one thing that uh, i i took very sharp peak let me change it uh, sharpness let me take it 0 0.2 and enter plot the file using x and place you can see cross-check it i'm feeling there is problem with this dos let me cross-check it uh I'm using another utility. Mm -hmm. I think the uh, uh, DOS should be is not a uh, crack. But I will I will cross check it, and uh, we will discuss it tomorrow. But the thing is, the method is this to plot the dos. Tomorrow we will follow one one uh, uh, one more do, one another uh, method to plot the, the dos. I think I need to shift the energy. Hmm? Sir, this F command will work. Shift the energy. Uh, sir, this uh, F command is, uh, will work for shift the energy. I'm, I'm, think, I'm feeling that this F is not working. Verma, sir. Yes. Sir, you are not. This F, this F command will work in in EIG to DOS. Just to use that uh, minus F just up in the front EIG to DOS. Uh, so first uh, copy that EIG to DOS and uh, minus F. Use that minus F first. Is it in capital or small? Yeah, uh, minus uh, in a small, small, small. Uh, and S zero two yes N is equal to this. Okay, uh, now plot it. But is for it? graphene, uh, it it is working. But the thing is, for graphene, uh, we have uh, this gap. How this possible? There may be some error. Actually, uh, you are, uh, for graphene, uh, it must be uh, about zero. So yes. Uh, maybe during optimization, there may be some problem because I have checked this uh, several times. Uh, that yes. some, uh, or tomorrow we will we will cross check it uh, with the uh, FMP DOS. Even uh, yes, with PDOS and uh, that bent plots, uh, uh, you have to check this. Yes. So tomorrow we will do the uh, band and DOS as well because uh, I don't think so. This this one is the correct one. 
for today you have a assignment to optimize your silicon bulk system this is for uh, 2d graphene sheet bulk is 3d when you do the optimization k point of optimization make sure your k point should be in x y and z direction for today uh, you you have to do the optimization of silicon go to exercise number 2 you have silicon fdf file copy the script from here and run it and optimize it so anyone have any question up to this uh, regarding the optimization now session is open for discussion if anyone has any question then you can answer so all these lectures are in a live mode in your um, uh, that uh, college uh, website uh, college yes. website and uh, youtube channel yes, so you should uh, you should uh, follow uh, that one uh, and uh, repeat that this exercise if you have laptop or desktop at your home and also you one, can follow one, you can watch one, this uh, one, lectures in my channel for dar speed excuse, me, excuse me sir hmm uh, sajil sir is uh, uh, sharing one uh, screenshot in the group sir in your uh, screenshot i can see you put minus m space e oh sorry sir sorry sir yes yes it should be uh, plus 5 sir yes yes okay thank you thank you okay then uh, i would like to thank professor mohan l verma sir and narendra kumar sir for uh, your helpful hand on session now we are going to end today's session thank you thank you all thank you ma'am